Hey guys, Cabbage Lord here, and today I'm going to be doing secret pilgrim features that you need to be using. Now these aren't necessarily secret features, but are probably features that you may have not noticed while playing the game. At first, they're going to start with kind of obvious ones, but I see comments about them, then the later we get into the video, the more obscure these features are going to be. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is, there is a skill tree. Now there might be no shit Cabbage Lord is a skill tree, but I've seen tons of comments like, oh my god, I'm level 13, I'm level 30, I didn't know there was a skill tree in the game. Like it's honestly insane. A lot of people comment like, how do I get ace points? How do I ace? Now, you need eight points to, you need how many points it says to ace. Like I, don't know, I thought it was pretty self-explanatory, but apparently people haven't noticed these features. So I'm gonna call them hidden features. Now let's go into something a little bit more obscure. So people keep on commenting, like, how do you look like something that the armor is equipping? So obviously you switch to vanity and the stuff you clip into your vanity slot is what you'll look like. I, I see a lot of comments on this too. So, you know, I, I might as well tell you guys about it. Now, when you're in Savannah, you're going to go talk to our boy, the Sail Lord, and you can actually upgrade your boat. So, I see a lot of people asking how do you get a faster boat. Well, you just have to talk to our boy, Sail Lord, and once you've bought the boat, he'll give you like better upgrade options. Currently, I already have the second most expensive boat, so obviously, the option is only going to be to buy the next one. But like the first upgrade is like 1,000 and 2,500. So, yeah, that's how you upgrade your boat and just get the faster ones. Now, I didn't even know this feature existed until like a few days into playing the game, but you can actually invite people to your party. So if you go to the leaderboard and click on them, you invite them to a party, and then obviously if they accept the invite, you'll be able to see them like across the map. If you look where my mouse is, you can see them, how much health they have, where they are. It's a pretty neat little feature. Now every place in the mirror usually has a bed where you can actually set your spawn point at. And when you die, you'll actually spawn back there. A lot of people don't know about this feature. It's a little bit low key. A lot of people don't notice, but there's actually races in the game. And there's two of them. The first one I'm gonna show you the location of is the frost troll. Now, a lot of fake news is going around saying that it increases their ice damage, but according to Trello and Lord Senda, who is also messing around with it, it's purely cosmetic. It does not boost you in any way, but it does look pretty cool. Now, the second race in the game is the Vampire, which I'm showing the location of right now. You get minus 25% resistance, so you take 25% more damage, but you heal on kill. So honestly, I think the races are kind of trash. Hopefully they'll like do more with them later on, but I guess they're a little cool, neat feature. That's pretty much everything I have to show you. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned for John, John Wick, John Wick build.